So I got this Anotech. It basically what it is is a USB mini device that connects to your tablet. So you open up the box. I've already opened this before, but uh, comes in like this. Comes with the device. Uh, it has the USB port that plugs into it, and it has a uh, little aerial, which uh, goes out about that far. Um, I don't think I'll be using this much. I bought a mobile antenna just to try this out. It also has a USB uh, plug there as well. And uh, so, so that's how that goes. So that's the first part. Now the second part, there's some more accessories, which I didn't think was, would be coming with this, but I'm glad it did come with it. Uh, this part here, which is an adapter, so that you can plug in a coax, uh, your standard car coax, into the adapter, which is like these. These are very similar to these are very similar to uh, this device here. You see these in these devices, like the software-defined radio device that I have here, that um, just takes the same kind of plug-in and you pop it in in there instead of like a into these smaller little devices. So I have one of these, but it's nice to have another one. So this is good to have for if you're connecting what from whatever air, it, antenna you're trying to connect to your system. And it comes with a few USB adapters. It comes with a USB, like your, you know, your uh, phone charger type one to a, uh, a male uh, USB uh, setting. So that this is basically if you want. Then you also have a female to male uh, wired connector. So for example, if you have a tablet or a computer or a phone and you want to have just a little bit of free play like this thing here, uh, your case and it might not fit flush to your case, you can use this thing here to plug it into your phone, into your into it through your phone case. This thing here I like. It has the uh, smaller USB to a male um, port here. So this for what that can you can do is you can plug it into your um, uh, you, you into a laptop. It says it's supposed to be Windows friendly and all that stuff too, so that's a good thing here. So now the aerial, and I'm not a fan of. I don't think I'll be using this a whole lot. It just pops right out there, so that comes with it. This little aerial thing. I'm gonna end up just plugging in this part here into the device. It snaps right in real nicely. It says A1 Anotech A1. So I'm gonna try this on um, on my tablet and see how it works. Boy, a little bit older there. We are. And for a tablet, this one you gotta cover the button. Yeah, this one covers the button. <laughs> so depending on your tablet, like for this one here that I'm using, it covers up the button on it, which kind of sucks. But it also covers up the uh, volume uh, buttons on this thing here. But I have uh, different tablets, I have Samsung tablets and things, so I'll give it tries on different devices. It also recommends the software live player station for, and for Android. Alright, so I've connected it and I've downloaded the live stair, uh, station player app to my uh, Android um, M8 set-top box thing here. And uh, so I have it coming out of there, so I'm going to do a little scan of the channels. You can go here, I don't know what other options this thing would have other than ATSC. Canada is not listed in here, so I'll go with America. It only gives you ATSC. So I'll go and do a search. And it goes through the frequencies. This could take uh, some time when you're doing your first initial scan. This is going through the frequencies. Basically the same as it would for any other TV. Now in this case, I'm not using the little antenna. I'm just using the, uh, I have it attached to my rooftop antenna. So it's going to work a lot better. WWNY and WNYF. And you can see here it's gone up to the 47, 9,000 9, frequencies, which is the frequencies for the um, UHF channels. So it starts with the VHF channels and then it moves up to the UHF channels. Um, it doesn't tell you the channel numbers. It doesn't tell you that CKWS 11.1 or WWNY. 7.1 it 
that's one thing it's lacking in the live station player app which i'd like to be able i'd like to be able to see because i i don't uh, and it doesn't necessarily put it in order the way i'm used to here we are here and you can see that it pixelates really bad this is a high definition channel and it's just breaking up i don't know if it's because of the usb one uh setting so here's uh, another channel and you can just see it's pixelating really bad i'm not really doing anything to do that and, the, and it's playing it really slow and this is high definition so i've noticed that with the tablet as well it's just very laggy and poor So here's another high definition channel, PBS. I can see a lot of pixelations on the screen uh, while trying to watch this thing. And you hear those little glitches in the, in the audio. So let's go up one channel. PBS 2. On the Create channel. And it's working, but it's very, very poor quality. You can see the signal strength. Let's zoom out here. On the side of the screen right here. And you can see, oh yeah, if you press, press OK, you can see your channels as well. Now this channel will probably work a little bit better, I'm thinking, because it's not high definition. It seemed to be the high definition channels were very poor um, when trying to view them on the, uh, on the screen. So with Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. I'll go out of that. And it just takes like a second or two to buffer. Now, another thing, I'll go to this menu here. Tells you the video info, which is kind of nice. The And then it gives you the EPG guide all over the screen here. Uh, setting. So the search feature, actually, I found it had one thing that I actually really liked. <clears throat> you go to the channel, and I don't know if you can see it too well, but you can see that it says 29 dB here. I'll just zoom in a bit here so it's a little sharper on that. So you, I, you can see that it says 29 dB and 67% strength right there, and uh, the, the frequency that it's on. So one the one thing I kind of like about this is for tuning your antenna. So maybe not necessarily for viewing TV but if you're up you will need a portable device and you need to know how much DB you're getting off the signal it's handy for that but actually trying to use this thing to watch TV uh, I'm I'm not overly impressed with it I'm trying to decide whether I should send it back yeah like for this I just rather plug uh, how bad this seems to be working I'd rather um, plug uh, the aerial into the TV and I get much better um, performance out of the uh, out of the TV if we're to look at this signal strength on this channel it's 29 DB scratching my head trying to use this thing it is not the as good as I was hoping it would be I've also found that this thing I've tried it on my two Samsung devices I have a Samsung phone and a Samsung tablet my Samsung phone my forget the model this thing is it's like the cheap I've had it for like over three years now and it's probably one of the cheapest uh, Samsung's unlocked basic phones Galaxy Prime whatever it was I forget the model number it doesn't even light up and connect with this phone at all and I've tried using the adapter wires just you know to get the connectors I tried in different case as well the case at first I thought might have been preventing it from connecting it to the USB that wasn't working at all. I've tried this Samsung tablet. I had to take it out of this case here to make it work, uh, plug in, but actually there is a plug for that so I can put it back into the case. Uh, this one has uh, a player issue for whatever reason. Some videos just don't play uh, as nicely on this tablet, so I'm. Uh, it could be this tablet just not being able to play videos. My RCA tablet uh, did play it the best and uh, I can hold it and um, watch TV portably in the car and all that um, with this but it it's still the performance of this device of this Anotech device right here this little thing here is not working very well 
The picture quality is lousy. I tried connecting it to my laptop. See, I use Linux, so um, it didn't work with my laptop, even though my HodgePodge device does. But that thing wouldn't work with my laptop, unfortunately. Bottom line is, I, I'm not even gonna put a link to this on uh, to, for you to buy this on Amazon, because I don't find it's a very. I don't recommend it. Uh, I, I find uh, that this product is a bit of a disappointment. It doesn't work the way I feel it should be working, and it plays the. It just plays everything really bad. I think the USB cable is probably to blame. It's just not being able to get the data to the device fast enough. I, I, I don't know the tech, technical stuff about that, but I'm finding that's a big problem with it. So, um, yeah, this is one product I'm kind of disappointed about. So, uh, there's an, other products like this that might work better. I've had other products that have worked better. That's just not working well today for me today. And please come um, like and share my page for my videos and join my gr join this group here for free satellite TV in North America and over the air streaming. And I've also opened up this new page here, free satellite TV one at, on Facebook, but I'm just going to keep that information. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep that just to relevant to newer people. Thank you.